Mr. Fuchs, what do you like about Alexander Rodak's paintings? Well, when I first uh, saw his paintings in Vienna in 1969, and then again in 1970, when I came to Vienna to learn how to paint with my father, Ernst Fuchs, I fell in love with this painting, and it was part of a development of my artistic taste at the time. I had discovered for myself the music of Rachmaninoff, Debussy, and Ravel. And for me, somehow, I can't really explain it, this music is tightly connected to Alexander Rotauk's paintings. Now, Rotauk was a contemporary of Rachmaninoff. He, he was also a contemporary of Debussy and Ravel. And it's part of this whole symbolist movement that I was very attached to. It. I learned about other painters of, of that period, like Arnold Berglin, Max, um, Max Klinger, and um, von Stuck, uh, Ferdinand Knopf, Puvi de Chaban. All, all these painters, I was very, very impressed by their work, and it's an interesting thing because a lot of them painted at the same time uh, when Cubism was, was, uh, Cubism was uh, getting bigger and uh, also there was Impressionism. And then I, I didn't go into for the Impressionists, I went into for the, uh, for the Symbolists. And the, the particular thing about uh, Rotar was his love of absolute beauty, and especially the beauty of the female form but especially the beauty of the female form set in nature, uh, as if to say that the female form is the, is the crowning glory of natural beauty. And I saw also in his work a great sense of harmony, a really very conscious and very uh, purposeful use of color. Not a single color is wasted in his. It's a, every color has to be counted as a as a very valuable letter or word in a sentence or in a novel that it really is speaking to us. He uses color um, like a language uh, and not like a subconscious language, but a very conscious way of trying to tell us something with his colors. And it can be seen here in this painting very much so because you have this, this struggle between virtue and, um, and sensuality. So the virtue of Joseph tearing himself away from Hodiava's wife is actually accentuated the violence of this act of will to tear himself away from this beautiful woman, but also the suffering that it involves and the passion of the woman all expressed with that red color in the middle of the painting. That's a very, very conscious and a very deliberate use of color to express exactly what is thematically going on in this painting. And those are the kind of things that really impressed me about, uh, about Wotan's work. And uh, what also really impressed me was this, this romanticism, this uh, symbolism, but also a very rigorous Michelangelo-esque use of anatomy. He really took this, this feeling of uh, this total knowledge of anatomy and he put it into a very modern context. And the paintings of Alexander Rotak are modern. This is modern art. That impressed me very much, but it's very much in the vein of the old masters. And that's what I love about him. He synthesizes modern, a modern feeling for life and the beauty <clears throat> and the intellectual strength of the old masters.